What do you want to go for? Uh, this one in the bottom corner. <laughs> Jesus saves. That picture represents Christians, and this is a poll with a whole question. 21% okay. of born-again Christians have what? No is friends. It... <laughs> <laughs> I got some building work done at the beginning of the year, and it was a born-again Christian builder's company. I thought, I can trust them. They'll be all right. And he was doing some work in the kitchen, and he was sweating, and I went, no rest for the wicked. And without, without a gap, he just went, I wouldn't know, I'm one of the righteous. And just carried on <laughs> to screw his stuff in. Are you going to be finished off with, you wanker? <laughs> <laughs> you know, any extremists are crazy and ugly. Ugly. <laughs> oh, yes. I went to a born-again convention, you know, Jesus loves me. He said if he loved you so much, he would have given you a chin. I don't think Jesus loves you. It was like the thing when, like, some athlete will win a gold medal and go, oh, thanks for Jesus, Jesus helped me out in this. And you think, what kind of God lets, like, Iraq happen, doesn't do anything but keeps a close eye on who wins the triple jump? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's kind of cheating, isn't it? Yeah. You're using God to help you win a... It's worse than drugs. <laughs> if, you're in the, if you're in the long jump and then you know that God's pitched up and gone, like that. <laughs> it's not fair, is it? <laughs> Something to do with a very petty crime. Have murdered. <laughs> it's, it's to do with music. That's my final clue. Have stolen CDs. I'll give you that, Joan. It's actually illegally downloaded music. Yes, 21% of born-again Christians have illegally downloaded music. I've not found Jesus, but then I think he should try and find me. He's omnipotent, I'm on telly, come on, Jesus, how tough's that? <laughs> OK, Sean's team, what do you want to go for? I'd like the one of uh, Madonna, with her head coming out of a dwarf's buttocks. <laughs> You've chosen a one-upmanship question. In a poll to find out the celebrity Brits would most like to swap houses with, Madonna came second, who came top? I watched through the keyhole, <laughs> when I get the opportunity. <laughs> It always do. seems to be Rusty Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Big laughing cook. And she's got quite a nice house, you know. Is it Rusty Lee? Uh, no, you, you are <laughs> devilishly close, Sean. Really? Have they done Madonna? Have they through? done Madonna through the keyhole? Who would, <laughs> who would live in a house with all these stolen children? <laughs> she didn't steal them, she adopted them. <laughs> <laughs> what celebrity's house do you want to live in? I'd swap with um, Jamie Oliver because he's a dick, right? Oh. And um, it only says I have to swap. He'd still have to live with my mum and dad. <laughs> and they would <laughs> hate him. He's always spitting when he's cooking. <laughs> I, I'm <just> chopping the <laughs> <laughs> thing, right? Say it, don't You're spitting, it. man. Well, I can tell you, you're absolutely right. Oh. Right? Yes, the celebrity Brits would most like to swap houses with is Jamie Oliver. I'd like to swap houses with Jamie Oliver because I live in a soundproof box two miles underground. <laughs> what have the nation been talking about over the last week? Faster trains. Faster trains. Between Manchester, Leeds and London. Manchester, Leeds and London. Yeah, That's, you're going the long way round, aren't you? Well, you know. <laughs> they can't get the one that they're doing now on time, so are they going to make it an hour and six if they can't do it in two hours from Manchester? to London. I'm quite happy with two hours to Manchester. I think you need a little bit of time to prepare yourself for going up north. <laughs> yeah. I, d I don't like this fast train, cos I, I don't like being early. <laughs> Is that... I'm gonna... You know, cos it, it takes an hour, you're gonna be early, you're just gonna be hanging about. <laughs> Get a slow one, keep warm. <laughs> I don't think you will be early, because uh, it's not gonna be built for 20 years. Yeah. 2033, is it? Mm. Yes, it's going to be finished in 2033. I thought we'd be teleporting by then. <laughs> <laughs> if I haven't got jetpacks, I don't want to be alive, let alone clinging on for life in a super-fast buffet car, like. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying it's for, like, European business people, though, that are coming over. But surely if you've had, like, a flight from Moscow, you're not going to land and then go, how much to Manchester? Two hours. F*** me, I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where's he going back to? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Is it really going to go 260 miles an hour? Yeah, that's what they're saying. It's a shame, cos you're not going to be able to stick your head out the window anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be too dangerous. I used to love doing that. <laughs> I did it all the way from Cardiff to Bangor once. God knows how many insects I ate, but I was... <laughs> 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 too fast, fast, isn't it? Too, too, too fast. fast. You'll have to change train impressions for kids. Like, you can't go... <laughs> you won't do that, will it? It'll just go... <laughs> <laughs> that won't be as good.
wasn't that long ago that they, they binned Concord, which was really quick getting to the States because it cost too much money. But now they've decided to spend 30 billion yeah. just to go to Manchester. Are you saying we should get Concords to Manchester? We get <laughs> <laughs> we get I'm 30 in, I'm billion, in. yeah. Well, for that kind of money, I mean, there's, there's other things we could spend that money on, aren't there? I mean, it's a, it's a huge amount. Yeah, we could have a free bar on the train <laughs> we did. for 20 years. <laughs> Instead of building a train line, why don't they have that thing in supermarkets where they send the money down a tube? <laughs> that thing where the money pops up in a tube. That's so quick. Why don't they just build one of those? Supermarkets. Those things they come up in a tube and it's like a plastic thing and they open it and they put all the money in and then it goes, goes doof, and then it appears somewhere else. <laughs> so they, they put the money in, they screw it, and then they pop in a tube. Doof, it's gone. <laughs> Fifty seconds, and then it, you can hear somebody in the distance going, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> why not a massive one of those?" <laughs> Shoot people out of cannons. <laughs> Shoot. I mean, that's practical, Joe. <laughs> not all right. Not one, then three. Three cannons. One to Totten, then change, then another. <laughs> <cannon>. <laughs> It's like a 20 minute wait there. And then get another cannon. And then another cannon there. You could see that if there was a problem like a cannon replacement service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> OK, let's see if the new high speed rail line is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, the most talked about thing. The government have unveiled plans for a new high-speed rail line. It said it will cost £32.7 billion, pounds, or £35 billion if you get a return. Um, Harry Potter? Ooh, are you excited about it? Well, my youngest son is. I mean, I'm excited for him, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, good, clean fun, right? <laughs> you say it's clean, but there's a raunchy kiss. Apparently, apparently. so, yeah. Apparently. Emma Watson says this is the most anticipated kiss in history, which is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's such a huge, huge obsession for people. I mean, I took my youngest son, we went to Universal Studios, and you can kind of get, get your head around it when it's like an 11 year old wanting to wear the you know, Hogwarts cape and the, the, the tie and buying the wand and getting on the ride with all the gear. I mean, it's a bit weird, but, you know, <laughs> you've got grown-up people. I mean, there's a certain type of person that l goes to theme parks as a grown-up on <coughs> their own, I think. It's... it's <laughs> <un> <laughs> <laughs> but these, there's these adults in, the, in all the gear and they're screaming and shouting on the right... Cos you sit on the bank of, like, four, one extra than this, and, they're, you know, these grown-ups are going, <laughs> Yeah, man! Oh, oh! Let's go! Come on, Harry! And it's... And you're looking at these people thinking, Where have you... Who are... Why? I mean, it's just the, the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a real come-down for the actors, though, isn't it? Cos their, their lives aren't going to be as glamorous, you know, because the special effects in Panto aren't that great. <laughs> <laughs> so going, Daniel, when you fly, Big Dave's going to pull on the rope. <laughs> And you have to make the whooshing noise yourself. <laughs> okay, it's a big day. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to spend that 48 million, and in 20 years' time, he's with the Chuckle Brothers and Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe was asked uh, what advice he would give uh, to his younger self, and he said, "Don't try too hard to be something you're not," which is the essence of acting. <laughs> <laughs> If I could go back and talk to my younger self, I'd say, don't worry about anything. In the future, you invent a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> it is bad news for British industry, cos one of the things you have to credit J.K. Rowling with, she insisted the films be made in this country. So all those films, largely, uh, British crew worked on them. Well, British they, production yeah. houses. Well, maybe she should write another... another she should string it out a bit. That would be, that would be a well, good no, thing. Well, no, she didn't. Well, you, we know, are, you, know, we're you, know, you know she didn't write it, don't you? You know that, don't you? Is it a... It's a biography. She met this guy called Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> he was working in a coffee shop, but she just basically... She wrote down his life story. Is it really a true...? Yeah, it's a true story. Even the bit at the end. Even the bit at the end. The bit he... with the thing with the guy? Yeah, you know how he dies from the... eats the peanut? It turns out all along he had a peanut out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Harry Potter is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> Best way to mend a broken heart. Kill again. What you do is you can take your passport, go to the airport, you get on the first flight, you arrive in Leeds, <laughs> um, <laughs> you phone up and go, Ha! Ah, I'm in Leeds! 
Leeds. Yeah. Dream on, baby. <laughs> you start again. <laughs> if I can make it here, I can make it anywhere. <laughs> Best way to mend a broken heart. Eat cholesterol-lowering foods. No. <laughs> It's a practical survival guide. <laughs> Is it, um, eat trifle with your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask, in all seriousness, have you eaten trifle with your hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is it better than with cutlery? There wasn't any cutlery. It wasn't by choice, John. How is yeah. there trifle and not cutlery? What world do you... <laughs> <laughs> They'd got one and I couldn't wait till I got in. <laughs> I got the most of it in. There must be a point when you've kind of had enough and you're just covered in trifle <laughs> and you've got <laughs> half a trifle left. You think, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> in the old days, someone to get over a broken heart would join the Foreign Legion to forget. Yes. And mm. I, I, I had to go out with someone once. I wasn't that fussed, so I just became a community support officer. <laughs> 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 Forget Brian. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. You were quite close with the with the going to Leeds oh, thing. Find yourself like gap year travelling, backpacking. I'll give you that. <laughs> you know that yeah. uh, the wedding one. I don't like weddings because <laughs> there's absolutely no chance of me ever being involved. In <laughs> there is. That could change that law. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might go for the sexy lady in the specs. Okay. We asked tonight's jury audience, would you rather be beautiful or brainy? Wow. What do you think they said? I went on a date recently and two different people came up to us and said that she was far too attractive to me. <laughs> wow. I'm sure you've had it as well, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Total strangers came up to you. One was a drunk Australian man who'd fallen out with his friends and he thought, well, I'll go and slag off this guy who's with a hot girl then. Uh, <laughs> and then the second one was a drugs dealer in Camden who stopped a mobile phone call to point across the street and go, <laughs> you shouldn't be with her, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know whether that was the greatest compliment or the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I go for ugly... Stupid women. <laughs> really <laughs> ugly, really stupid. <laughs> so then people come up to me and they go, you're too good for her, mate. <laughs> now, <laughs> if you shouldn't be with her. They go, ah, oh, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's combing her hair with a shoe. <laughs> look any further than our guests to see beauty and brains. Obviously, we've got Rachel, we've got on the other end of the spectrum, we've got you. Mille <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> yes, yes, it is a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what first attracted you to uh, Jordan? Um, what two things? Uh, <laughs> no contra. Go on, so what, what do you find uh, attractive? Uh, something. It's the factor X, the enigma, the... I don't know. It's... They're called tits. I like them. It's a bum. The whole package! <laughs> oh. So, what do you think our audience going for? Do you think they'd rather be beautiful, or do you think they'd rather be brainy? What, what are you going to go for? If you're beautiful but thick, then you never have the intelligence to question why people are hanging around with you. I mean, brains are what make you go, oh, I wonder if this is just a fickle relationship. If you're beautiful but thick, you go, <laughs> everyone likes me. <laughs> As a result of that, they'd say beautiful. Well, your team captain, this is your first go, so I'm deferring to <laughs> <laughs> you. It's not nice to hear that in a woman's voice. This is your first yeah. go, isn't it? You're <laughs> <laughs> having fun. It's lasted long, isn't it? <laughs> I think they'll go brainy. You think beautiful? Yep. I think beautiful, so you're outvoted. Well, you think the audience would rather be beautiful? What do you think, Sean? Brains. 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 All right, well. let's have a look and see what the audience would rather be, beautiful or brainy. Yeah, oh, we're okay. right. John, Patsy and Jack, what have the nation been talking about this week? Is it Wimbledon? Did you go this week? I went to Eastbourne. 
You went to Eastbourne. He was really good. Really? So you went to Eastbourne, not not Wimbledon. You know, the problem is that now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Venus Williams. How did you cope with the screaming? I don't know where, at the tennis when they hit the it and they screaming, grunting. They're trying to ban it, aren't they? They're trying to ban the noises. Yeah, they are. They said this week it was okay. It was better for concentration and stability to grunt. I have to watch it with the sound down. I can't be doing with it. If you turn the sound down and do your own noises, like boink, boink. <laughs> I imagine that the ball boys are little gremlins, and then when they come out to get a ball, I go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I said, I did it. Sometimes I go, my ball, my ball, my ball. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken all the fun out of it, though. One of the first things they did this week when it rained, because they can still play, but they closed Henman Hill because they didn't want people sliding down. And again, more fun than tennis. <laughs> like, they should just have a camera, posh old lady with a tray full of pimps, just trying to get across. <laughs> Better than tennis. Joe, do you watch the tennis? Yeah, uh, uh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch it, but in the end, it's the same thing, it's just different people winning. <laughs> 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 it's the same every time. Oh, you won that one. It... Yeah. Does anyone think Andy Murray's going to win? Of course he's not going to win. We always go <laughs> through this shit every year, he's never going to win. <laughs> Read the news like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> <bullets. laughs> Not reading that. Move on. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good. It'd be, it'd be a breath of fresh air if the news was read like this. I'd love yeah. that. Afghanistan, yada yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that did annoy me was that um, Andy Murray takes his top off a lot, and like he's obviously proud of his body, isn't he? Which annoys me. If he had my body, he wouldn't do it. <laughs> because if he had your body, yeah. I don't know whether we'd be playing there. Well. <laughs> I get changed like I'm an old woman on the beach. <laughs> you know, like a towel up, kind of like that. So I find that sort of quite offensive when people sort of go, oh, is, is the camera still on? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he physically looks that impressive, Andy Murray. Though. Yeah, it strikes me as like Nadal off? is like. Why does he take his top off? Yes. We didn't do it during the game. What, has he actually got <laughs> Afterwards, enough? it's not in the middle of a point, it's woo! <laughs> <laughs> he wins and then takes it off. If it goes for extra time, it's just in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I th always think he looks a mess because, like, Nadal is incredible. Like, he's just a physical Adonis. And Annie Murray looks like a heroin addict that shoplifted a JD Sports. <laughs> <laughs> he's pathetic. <laughs> and, like, when you see him next to Nadal, it's, Nadal is just the perfect man because he's really strong. He's got these big pistons of arms. But then a really nice little boyish face, sort of very hamsterish features. Like, imagine if you were with Nadal, he'd be like two hours of like rampant, ferocious sex, and then afterwards, just make you eggs Benedict. <laughs> Does anyone... Do you fancy a game of who's got a crush on Nadal? <laughs> oh, look, I've won. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Wimbledon is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> the most talked about thing this week? Sean, Mickey, Jedwood. What do you think the nation have been talking about? Okay, they, everyone's talking about loads of cool everyone's things. Everyone's always talking about. And all these girls always gossiping about like stuff. So what do you think, John? Okay. What are people talking about? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Sean. The, the Beckhams had a baby, another baby. The yeah. Beckhams, yeah, had a, had a little... Had Come a little on, girl. Victoria Beckham had a baby. I think about, okay, she has a baby, okay, and she looks so, like, she's so thin. And then I know, she, she a looked baby. a little bit like a snake that had swallowed something. <laughs> 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 no, I think she looks really, really well. I think, Victoria Beckham, if you're watching this, which you obviously are, good job. <laughs> on the airplane, on the... <laughs> Do you know how babies are made? <laughs> No, I think it's about like there's like a, like an eagle. That you missed that class in school. You missed a lot of classes. Yeah. <laughs> Although your school was different, it was mainly potato painting. Um, let's <laughs> <laughs> let's get let's get back to the Victoria Beckham. It's a cesarean, wasn't it? Yeah, she's a cesarean, which is typical Spice Girl. They're always miming. Four cesarean. Yes, yeah, she might as well just put a hinge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are very few things more boring than going to see someone's baby, though, isn't it? You know, when they say, oh, you've got to come out and see the baby, you think, oh, for f. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
you go, yeah, yeah, it is one. You're all right. <laughs> yeah. Well done, you had a bunk up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the name, the names are very strange. What, what do they, one, they don't they you it? It's just a really weird thing. Seven. Yeah. Harper Seven. Sounds like a robot butler. <laughs> The news was suddenly full of sort of little stories saying, what does it mean? Like it's a competition and we're going to win a sort of golden rabbit that's been buried <laughs> in the forest if you work it out. But if it's a contest that the Beckhams are setting, I don't think the clues are going to be very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. name, do, was, wasn't the name Seven chosen? I thought it was chosen from the number seven being on his shirt. So, I mean, if he was naming it after something on its shirt, it's lucky it wasn't called Beckham Beckham. <laughs> How did you come up with your name? Jet Edward. <laughs> you didn't John. come up with your name, did you? We did not care. Everyone's calling us name, it. The sun came no, up. Our, you, our friends you... came up with our name. News of the world came up with it. <laughs> You're not in Home Alone. Stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, okay. It's John and Edward, and they both come together. You didn't but, know. Okay, as you guys know, okay, we met Barack Obama, okay, and he was what? like, yeah. <laughs> "You're joking." <laughs> Shook Barack Obama's hand. Yeah, really? like, if anyone wants to touch you, can. Just, sorry, just, just Savage, why, why did you meet him? We met the biggest under... world leader in the world, okay? And he was like, So what is Jedward? And we told him that it's John and Edward, and you put together, and it makes Jedward. <laughs> <laughs> but why, was he lost or something? How did this happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did Barack Obama open the wrong door and get lost? <laughs> so, what's going on there? And he switched the light on, and you two are there. <laughs> You told him the Jedward story and he didn't go back to America and say, from now on I am Obama. <laughs> <laughs> All the biggest people in Ireland were there. Daniel Day-Lewis was there, Gable Byrne was there, we were there, he skipped everyone, walked straight to us, and Michelle Obama was there also. Bono wasn't there. Yeah, he was too cool. on tour. Bono was probably in your dressing room going... <laughs> <laughs> Ask a question. Of course you can. That's not my question. That's not going to change anything. You'll be surprised to find that my memory is not wiped out by that. Yours may be. <laughs> do they not hit kids in Ireland? <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether the Beckham baby is one of the most talked about things this week. Yes, Victoria Beckham has had her baby. Doctors offered Victoria gas and air, but she said she wasn't that hungry. <laughs> what are the biggest scandals? I'm thinking, only because I've recently discovered this thing, maybe Tag Woods. The National Enquirer reported that he had 120 affairs. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Tiger Woods. Like, if you're Tiger Woods, you can maybe get away with what? <laughs> I don't even get naked in hotels, just in case <laughs> there's, like, cameras in the walls or thing. I just keep my You might catch on. a glimpse of yourself. <laughs> I never understood, cos it all came out when they released the message of him phoning the woman, saying, ''Hey, it's Tiger here, can you take...'' <laughs> Sometimes my impressions can be very powerful. You... <laughs> See, I don't, you know, I don't condone what he did or anything like that, but he is playing the most boring game on earth all day, all the time, in every single country. Of course he's going to find something to occupy him. He obviously finds it boring. Mm. Yeah, but he... <laughs> <laughs> The golfer's gonna be a slut, really, do you? You don't yeah. look at a golfer and think, oh, I bet he's good in bed. <laughs> no. They're all fat and bold and like. <laughs> so we just like, I don't get it. No one oh, would ever expect Sorry, do you play it. professionally? You look. Thank you. <laughs> you awesome. I've never played <laughs> that. I mean, you should think about turning pro. That's a. That's a rather sweet. Well, surprisingly, it's not up there. There was a huge scandal when it was revealed Tiger Woods had had a series of extramarital affairs. I don't know, when you're married to a swimwear model and you're cheating on her with a lingerie model, you know something's gone terribly right. <laughs> the top way Brits break the law. I sometimes do something that's a bit naughty. I think other people do it as well. What I do is I'll record an episode of The Sopranos and then watch it before the watershed. Swearing in the afternoon. <laughs> you know, I'll leave the windows open so school kids can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> I 
I think when the main one is because uh, the the British penchant uh, <laughs> for urinating in public is quite big. I was on a tube train the other day. A tube a train. A tube train, and a man had a piss in the corner. <laughs> and typical British, we were, we were like. <laughs> <laughs> And then he got off at the next stop and I had to break the silence. I said, thank God he didn't need a shit. <laughs> it's so much easier for guys, cos you can pee wherever you want. So where, where's the worst place you've peed? OK. Come on, tell the truth. OK, I was <laughs> drunk in a taxi and I needed to pee really, really bad and I peed on the floor of the taxi and then paid him and got out. <laughs> You, Kelly, let me tell you, that's not a crime, that's a website. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's something to do with traffic, actually. I think it's a car thing. I, I think it might be using, using your hazard lights incorrectly, because most people think that they can put, them, put the hazard lights on and do anything, and just pull up on a double yellow line and get the dry cleaning, or, <laughs> I mean, I, or go drunk driving and, and you get pulled up there. Do you realise you've got your hazard lights on? Because I, I, uh, I'm drunk, obviously. <laughs> Because I've had to warn everyone, I'm very drunk. <laughs> Actually, I would like to have hazard lights on my epaulets. <laughs> Just go, if I decide to do something wrong, I put hazard lights on and everyone's warned about it, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a shit on the tube, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> hazard lights on the turn around, <laughs> and it's fine. Mm. I sometimes, I know I shouldn't admit this, but sometimes um, I only have four a day. <laughs> yeah. You break your own rule. And in other days, I have 80. <laughs> You don't want to be around then. <laughs> Top way, Brits, break the law. Mobile. You do it in the car. Mobile phone, phone driving. Oh, no, it's not a crime. Right. Yeah, it it's is. I got off. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw an ambulance man the other day on his mobile. That's proper attitude, did it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing about. No. I try to create a bit of work, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speeding. That is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your question. Best thing about living alone? John. What, mate? I'm never alone. <laughs> never alone, am I, John? No, you're not, John. You're always with people, John, yeah. <laughs> John and John are gonna have a good chat about you when John gets home. <laughs> I'm seriously learning to deal with spiders. <laughs> That's it. There's no-one else to do it. I generally, I'm a shrieker, but living on my own, I thought... Cos used to, if there was a spider, I would just move to the next room. And then, once you've used all the rooms, you've got, right, we've got to learn how to deal with this. <laughs> so the spider's following you from room to room. Surely you can just go keep going round. No, there's <laughs> loads of them. Taunting him. <laughs> oh, so hang on, so one spider stays in the lounge, he's got that covered, and then you go into the bedroom, you're right there for a few months, and they go, hang on, he's gone in the bedroom, we'll send another one in there, but you stay in the lounge. <laughs> SWAT team doing terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> what do you think the best thing about living on your own? Rob? It's the freedom to pleasure yourself to something weird like songs of praise and. <laughs> you know, and if you if you live with somebody, then if you, let's say you died in the act, then if you live with somebody, they'll find you straight away, and that'll be embarrassing forever for your memory. And uh, if you live on your own, then. By the time they find you years later, your rotted corpse or whatever, your, you know, songs of praise will have finished and... <laughs> they'll just find a pile of innocent dust next to a box of tissues and a single white glove. <laughs> and you will look like a snooker ref who died of a cold. <laughs> I wander around in my pants a lot and, um, and I live in a block of flats and opposite me is another block of flats and <laughs> the flat opposite mine's been empty the whole time so I just wander around, I don't got curtains, I just wander around in my pants but then a friend of mine came around and she spotted that uh, like some young lads had just moved in and she said oh maybe you should get yourself some curtains <laughs> and said, well, as far as I'm concerned some young lads are looking at me wandering around in my neck guys I'm still the winner aren't I really <laughs> I just wonder how long it's going to take them to get some curtains off <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long time since I lived on my own. What I miss, uh, I like about living on my own, is all the songs I used to make up. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, put the kettle on and make a cup of tea now. <laughs> make myself a cup of tea with sugar. Cup <laughs> tea for sure. Shall we have a biscuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice song.
I don't have the creativity to make my own. I used to steal existing. I got like, coffee time. Can't drink this. Why not? It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have a hit on our hands. <laughs> what do you think the best thing about living on your own? Is it the remote? Control um, of the remote. Oh, yeah, that is the right answer. I'll give you uh, that. Well that's done. close enough. Yeah. yeah. John's team, you ought to go first. What do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Well, one of the things that's affecting my world is all the sadness of all the high street shops closing. So, I mean, that's probably one of the things. So, Habitat going and Thornton's going and Jane Norman and all these shops. And it's uh, very depressing. It's sad. And I used to work at Habitat. You used to work at Habitat? I used to sell sofas at Habitat. Did you? Not very well, clearly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gone downhill because I left. Ah. So, all these shops are closing down and it's very sad, other than the bitch that used to be my manager at Habitat who's now been sacked. Yes. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> what if she's fat? Sorry? What if she's fat? And then you said, oh, look at me now. You should need to go and help her. <laughs> I think I'm a stylist, not a magician. <laughs> she was a <laughs> Oh, no, you're dead. You <laughs> Of ten cuts just to slam an unemployed pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, by the way, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm going to kill your cats. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What is it? What oh, like, hey, three clicks. Can you do that one? <laughs> <laughs> You look, you look a little bit special at the best of sure, times. <laughs> Let's get back to the high street. Uh, so the other ones have gone out of business. So Thornton's have gone out of business. Habitat have, have gone, as we said. Comet have gone. Carpet Right have gone. So Carpet Right are actually going to have a closing down sale because they've, they've cried wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few times with the, we're having a sale. No, really, this is a good sale. But this time, they mean it. Carpet right, it's one of those things. You, you, you just can't sell carpet, because so, well, your brain just can't cope with seeing carpet, like, on the wall and in a book. <laughs> they should have carpet shoes, shouldn't they? So it's like a shoe... Put your foot into a piece of carpet and it fits like a shoe. <laughs> then you walk around... <laughs> <laughs> you look down you go, that's what it would look like, wouldn't it? <laughs> you, what, what do you think about that I idea, think, carpet I think right? If... Is it too late? <laughs> <laughs> Do you do much shopping on the high street? Well, I don't um, shop in Fulton's because I don't eat chocolate. So... <laughs> so, the <laughs> matter, so that's gone. So, <laughs> it's 140 shops and uh, 20,000 jobs, but, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that one matters as much because you're not affected. No, I used to love Jane Norman. I can't believe that's closing down. Jane Norman, I couldn't get me tits in those clothes, so I'm quite glad it's shutting. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a high street shop, haven't you, Amy? My friend does. It, but she's on the show, The Only Way is Essex. The Only she, Way is Essex? Yeah. I wanted to mention that, actually. It's not the only way. There's a better way. <laughs> <laughs> but you own a talent salon, don't you? I do the jazzles. Basically, for the show, for the show, I do the jazzles, and they come in and tell me all their life stories. <laughs> why don't you come is, down? Why don't you have a vagina? Why don't I come down? Because no, I don't actually. have a vagina. <laughs> Is it called a pejazz or when a boy Jazzle. has it? This is when you put the... Oh, surely you should call it glitter balls. <laughs> well. I, don't, a, I don't do that. What's a pejazz? They take a, a twinkle cave... Twinkle cave? <laughs> and they decorate around the top of the twinkle cave with a few little shiny things, Sean. It's delightful. And no. it's called pejazz. What? No, I don't understand. They decorate it? Yeah. Yes, they do. They Why? You, you know, cos sometimes when you look at one, you go, oh, it's a bit dull, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you see what you can do? You, you can do them at home. I'm sure yours are much better, but you can do it at home where you just put a bit of, like, Pritt stick on. <laughs> a bit of glitter on, but you always have to do it over, like, a bit of newspaper so you can get... Just... <laughs> ..back into the thing, because it's expensive. Could you do it with, like... Could you use dried pasta and stuff and lentils as <laughs> well? <laughs> Let's have a look and see what the high street is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, this is the news that several high street stores face closure. Clinton Cards is in trouble, so I popped into Hallmark to get them a sorry you're closing card. <laughs>
I like the look of that young man there. You have chosen Kian Egan. I, I just always want to say your name. I feel like I'm saying Kevin Keegan, but I've had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's your question. Most people would rather be in a band than a solo singer, true or false? I'd like to be in Little Mix. I'd like to be like the one and go, what's he doing in Little Mix? <laughs> but they, no, but they just they get a new member, then Little Mix have announced they've got a new member, and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> what would you... What, I, I reckon most people would prefer to be in a band. Because you've got, you got friends around you. Yeah, it's like, you know, the whole idea of being in a band, you know? It's a bit cooler than... Oh, I'm a singer. On my own. A bit cooler? You know I... you were in Westlife, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I was in Westlife. <laughs> Can you name all the other members? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know each other growing up, all of you guys? Yeah, we did, yeah. We oh, went to school together. That's a proper band then, right? That's did what you, you did want. You, I we'll didn't realise you went together. to school together. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were... No, we went to school together. So, so you that... knew each other since, since what age? Well, me, Shane and Mark, went to, we were in the same class as each other and we started the band up and then Brian and Nicky joined about a year later. At what point did Louis swoop? <laughs> 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 Very early. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, are you a solo artist now? No, I'm not a solo artist. I was a member of a, of a boy band for 15, year, <laughs> 15 years. And your voice is just, just broken. It's just <laughs> broken. <laughs> it's only <laughs> happening there. <laughs> yes. I believe. They yeah. threw you out. Okay. Well, what about you, Steve? Would you rather be in a band? What, what do you think? I was in a band at you, school. You're, yeah. You were in yeah. a band at school. What were they called? They were called Aragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're already my favourite band. We did. We went through a lot of names. We were Zenith for a while, but then we realised there was a double glazing firm called Zenith. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded an album, The Wizard's Dream. <laughs> the Wizard's Dream? Why not The Wizard's Sleeve? <laughs> Is this true? Is this yeah, absolutely it's all true? true. But why, why do you think you didn't make it? Because <laughs> we were ahead of our time, Sean. Right. And behind our time. Yeah. There was no time that we would have fitted in at all. <laughs> John, and, and, any, any musical aspirations would you ever...? The only band I would like to be in is The Proclaimers. Why yeah. The Proclaimers? Why would you want just to be...? How, why would you not want to be in The Proclaimers? Just There's a song that just it. ends do with it. five minutes of them both screaming the word Gene. <laughs> Gene! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and they're in a band and they do that, and they're so cool. But they hate the English so much. <laughs> it's a real barrier. I'd have to pretend from the beginning to be a brother that they didn't know about. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Tess, have you ever, have you ever been... I haven't been in a band, but I've been in quite a few bands' videos. Which videos were you in? I did two Duran Duran videos, and then I was in two Soul to Soul videos, a beloved video. The Soul one where Soul, everyone was naked, Duran. bar a few little, you know, plasters and... You were in that one? I was in that one, honey. Well, that plasters? But, you know, elaster plaster in the right... You know. What a sexy look that is. I'm <laughs> naked and I might you, have you know, cut my nipples. <laughs> oh, I'm in an Elton John video. What, he... See, he keeps it at home. <laughs> Why not? I've only got one song on my iPod, which is Rock Around the Clock. Five and I have it on work. shuffle. So one, two, <laughs> three, blah, four, blah, 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 six, seven, blah, 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 it finishes here. One, one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Just for hours on and end, happy driving. Days. Happy drives days. my wife. It mental. answers a lot of questions, though. Yeah. That's why she drives like that. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, blah, 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 <laughs> okay, let's get some on. So most people would rather be in a band than a solo singer. What, what are you going to go for, Sean? Band. Band. You think band? band. What, what do you guys think? I Definitely think solo band. singer. Solo. Solo singer. Okay, I can tell you the answer is seventy-two percent of people would rather be in a band than a solo Thank singer. You. <laughs> You're right. <laughs>